Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do Gel X nails on myself. So I'm going to start by measuring the full cover nail. I'm using extra long tapered square nails. These are my favorite. So I'm just making sure that the nail tip is fitting from sidewall to sidewall. And let's get started. So once you have your nail measured, you want to make sure that you are prepping the nail tip itself. So I'm going to show you two methods. The first one is using this Apre Gel X Prep. As you can see, it's, it has a little brush on it that makes it really easy to work the product into the nail tip itself. This is going to etch the nail without any dust. So I've seen some people mention that you can use acetone as well. So this bottle is pretty inexpensive. So once you use up all of this liquid, you can probably add some acetone into the bottle and just keep the brush in the bottle. That way you can do the same thing. That is if the liquid is the same, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you use this method or if you use acetone or if you use the filing method, which is what I'm gonna show you next. So as you can see, this is what the result looks like. There is a little bit of shine left, but it's not anything too bad. Now I'm going to use another method, which is going to be the filing method. You can use a, this is a ceramic nail bit that you can use to file the nail as well. And all it's going to do is just take off the shine of the nail and provide a rough surface so that your nail adheres to your natural nail the best. And once you have the shine removed, you're just gonna take off the dust so that way it doesn't interfere with the adhesion of the nail. So now that we have our nail tips prepped, you wanna make sure that you prep your natural nails as well, pushing back the cuticle, using a cuticle remover, and getting the process started. This is the light that I use. I will link it in my Amazon storefront in the description. And what is really good about this light is that it's only $9 on Amazon it's flexible you can clip it on your table and it works really great compared to a lot of the lights that I've seen that are really expensive this is a great quality nail lamp that is pretty inexpensive so I'll show you what it's like clipping it to the edge of my table the only thing is it might be a little bit difficult to use it if you don't have a table that is thin like mine so these are what my nails look like with the prep. They are ready to go. And I am just gonna be doing one hand in this video. So let's get started. I'm going to prime my nails and I'm gonna be doing my left hand. So I'm gonna use this Valentino Bond. And when you're using this bond, you wanna make sure that you are really working it into the nail that way you have the best adhesion and everything is going on smoothly another thing you can use is their dehydrator you don't have to use the valentino brand but i really love this bond so you can dehydrate your nails you can add the bond and you'll be ready to go this is the nail glue that I'm going to be using. It is the Beatles brand nail glue that you can find on Amazon. It has the best adhesion. So to get started, I'm going to apply a thin layer of this nail glue onto the tip and just brushing it on. When I brush it on, I'm just going to make sure that I'm not using too much and I'm gonna grab a little bit more and I'm gonna pull it at the end of the nail tip. Now that we have the nail glue on the nail tip, you're going to angle it towards the cuticle and making sure that you're going slow and evenly. 
So when you are doing it on yourself, it's a little bit different than if you're doing it on somebody else. So just make sure that you're resting the finger that you're applying on, resting it on another finger. So for example, right now I'm resting my thumb on my pinky of my right hand so that I'm able to rock the nail tip from the cuticle all the way to the free edge of my nail. Once you have no bubbles, you're going to cure it under the light. And this light is really good. It just takes a few seconds. You don't want to get your finger too close to the light itself or else it can burn, especially if your nails are very thin. So I'm going to show you how bright this light is. It is really, really good for the price. That is what I love about this nail lamp. So just turning my finger a little bit to the side so the light gets every angle. And let's continue doing the rest of the nails. It looks really good. There's no bubbles. And sometimes you'll get the glue kind of going over. Sometimes you don't get enough glue. So you just really have to eyeball how much glue you're putting on each nail and of course the longer your natural nail is the longer your nail bed is the more glue you're gonna have to use so just keep that in mind so continuing the process this is the nail that I use the etch on and even after a few days of having my nails on after doing this video it the adhesion is really good I think gel X is a better adhesion than acrylic it just has a really good staying power so same thing I'm balancing the finger that I'm working on on the other fingers of my right hand and starting at the cuticle you don't have to dig it into your skin but you can kind of push it in a little bit so that way you make sure you're getting it all the way to the bottom so I am just um, rocking it and making sure that I'm going slow so that I don't create any air bubbles. It's okay if you do get any air bubbles. Just wipe it off if you feel like you need to restart again. And just keep practicing because it's really about getting comfortable with the angle, rocking it on, and moving it to the light fast enough. So sometimes you might need to adjust the light if it's in your way and you're not able to get it to the light quick enough so with this nail that i'm doing i did have to lift it up because i think i wasn't getting it all the way to the top or i just felt like it was off so after i applied the glue and i get it on you'll see here in a second that i just I wasn't happy with it so I just lifted it up and tried it again so there's nothing wrong with that you don't have to commit to it until you have it under the light at that point it's still pretty easy to remove but you just want to make sure that everything is on correctly before you put it under the lamp so here I'm just gonna adjust it and make sure that it is going to be applied perfectly with no bubbles so if you have any problems with it just keep practicing keep going if you get one little bubble two little bubbles it's okay as long as the adhesion is there these nails can last you i would say up to a month just depending on if you're being really rough with your hands of course how long they are so just keep that in mind so once I'm happy with it, I'm just going to cure it under the light and go with the process on the next other two nails. If you have any questions, if you need some more pointers, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out with any questions you have, any product recommendations, whatever help you need. I am more than happy to help you. So look how awesome these look. I love these super long nails and in this for these nails that I'm doing I'm not cutting the length off of the nails at all I usually clip them a little bit but I'm just keeping the length for now just because I love 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 long nails 
So same thing, I'm going to start at the cuticle and it's angled just a little bit downwards. And starting at the cuticle, looking at the knuckle to make sure that the nail is straight, as straight as possible, and working it up. If you don't get the glue all the way to the free edge of the nail, you can either stop and add a little bit more glue or you can just leave it like that it's the adhesion is going to be good even if you don't get all the way to the top so that's the good thing if you do too much you're good if you do a little bit too less that's okay too so it's very forgiving so just keep trying and the more you do it on yourself on a client you're going to get used to how much glue you need and even if it's too much too little it's okay, the nails are still going to look good. Um, if you're doing like a clear nail, then you really want to make it perfect, of course. But if you're gonna be covering it with gel polish or a design, it's okay, just keep going. All right, so we made it to the pinky nail. And if you still need help after, just let me know and we can maybe do a different angle i can show you a different angle on how to put on this nail tip um just whatever help you need just let me know down below so i really love this process i really love using this light and at the end of the video i'm going to show you how i paint my nail and how to prep it for the gel polish or for the design as well. So you're gonna see what the nails look like. There is gonna be a little bit of spillage, a little bit of nail glue coming up from underneath the nail, but that is okay because we can remove it and make it look seamless. So this next step, if you didn't get the best application, if you have some spillage, it's okay. We're going to make them look really good and really flawless. If you have a little bit of spillage on here, you can take some nippers. Be very careful. Take some nippers and you can clip them off. You can clip off the excess glue, but you have to be very careful. If the if there's some glue that doesn't come off, like this one is coming off super easy. If there's some glue that does not come off easily, it'll come off in the next step. So try to get as much as you can off. That way you're not using the nail file so much and just being a little bit more cautious around the cuticle area. But if you can't get it off with the nippers or even if you don't have any spillage, then you're ready to go. So just try to get as much off as you can. If it doesn't come off, don't force it. You don't want to cause any premature lifting on your nails or the last thing you want to do is like cut yourself in the cuticle area because that really hurts. If you ever had that experience, you know the exact feeling of being cut in the cuticle or like even going to like nail salons. I know some people are like traumatized. I've seen like, I don't know if you guys like watching the like going to my worst rated nail, nail salon in my city but i love watching those videos it's so cringe but i love watching it <laughs> so let's get to the filing i'm going to use an or another another bit it's going to be a ceramic bit and i'm just going to clean off the sides of the nail and the cuticle and just make it nice and seamless so I'm just using the tip of the bit and you can angle it a bit to really get into that area to clean off any excess glue and to blend in the nail tip to your real nail. So there shouldn't be much of a space between. It's not like acrylic, but um, this is going to create a little bit of of space between your cuticle and where the nail starts so in that little groove is where you're going to place the nail tip and you're just going to file it very lightly 
every time I file the cuticle area, regardless of what nail bit I'm using, I'm always starting at the very lowest speed because you do not want to hurt yourself in the cuticle. That's probably one of the worst pains. So I'm just going to file my cuticles and making sure that it blends in. Now, some nail tips, some full cover nail tips, you'll see are a little bit thicker. So they're gonna have more of a ledge on the nail. But some nail tips that are really good quality, they're gonna be thinner at the cuticle area. So that way you don't have to file it as much. So these nail tips are pretty good. They're not too thick at the cuticle and I'm just blending it in slightly and just really using this step to make sure that I'm cleaning off any excess glue and spillage that happened while you're actually gluing them on. So this step, I guess you can skip, but if you want a really seamless look, you really want to take your time in this step and make sure that everything is cleaned up and blended in with your natural nail. You can use a sanding band, but I really love this bit in particular just because of the shape. It makes it really easy to get in between the where your cuticle is and where the nail tip starts. So that way you're not struggling and it's just the perfect size. It's the perfect um, shape. It's just a really awesome bit to use when you are doing this step and i got this bit from my local nail supply store so they have a lot of good bits you just have to kind of feel them if you can like the one that i went to they had them on display so you can kind of feel it with your hands i think this might be like a medium it might be a medium so you don't want to use anything too coarse because that's just going to eat away at your nail like you don't want to use like a tornado bit or something like that you want to use something fairly fairly smooth okay so now that my nails are ready to go I am going to use a sanding band to take off the shine because these are ready to go you can uh, wash your hands I wouldn't use alcohol just because sometimes it makes the nail tips a little bit foggy so I'm gonna start with a medium grit sanding band I'm just gonna go around the cuticle and again just taking off the shine we're not doing anything else but taking off the shine so i'm gonna go over my nail bed side to side and then when i get down to the nail tip on the free edge i'm gonna go up and down this is personal preference but i just find that this makes it super fast to take down the shine you don't want to spend forever on this step just because you don't want to thin down the nail if you want to give your nails a little bit more structure, you can add a hard gel. You can use a builder gel on top and that gives you a lot more strength. That way your nails don't bend like when you're pulling up your pants or whatever it is, you know, daily chores, you don't accidentally bend your nails, which can just damage them. So what you can do is just add a thin layer of the nail glue that we use to apply the nails on top of the nail at this step after you sanded them down and then add your design on top. So that's kind of a pro tip is to give them a little bit more strength. So now that I have them all filed down, I'm just going to dust them off. You can add a little bit more strength or if your nails are on the shorter side, then you definitely don't have to. Even if your real nails underneath are a little bit longer, that gives them more strength too. So it's just going to be your personal preference if you want to give them a little bit more strength and support. So now that I have my nails ready to go, I am going to, here's another pro tip, I'm going to add another little layer of the, the nail bond. And I'm only adding it to the cuticle area because I want my cuticle area to be seamless and smooth. You can add this bond all over the nail, but I don't find it necessary. As long as you are taking off the shine of the nail, your gel polish should not peel. Unless you're adding too thick of a coat, unless you're 
I don't know what you can do to make the nail, the gel polish like peel off but as long as you are taking off the shine with the medium grit sanding band you should be good and you shouldn't have any type of lifting issues when it comes or peeling issues when it comes to the gel polish so now that I have my nail tips ready to go, this is the gel polish I'm going to be using. It's the DND &D brand, a teenage dream, beautiful hot pink color, and let's get started with painting them. I'm just going to do a pretty thin coat and add two coats of this gel polish. Once I do two coats, I'm going to do a top coat and they're going to look so beautiful. That's one thing I love about Gel X is they're just so seamless sometimes when you're doing like very long extra long acrylic nails it can be hard to get them all the same structure so they won't break and it just takes forever so gel x has definitely saved me a lot of time doing my own nails and it's just super easy once you get the hang of it of course it does take some trial and error but don't give up just keep going and they'll be beautiful and flawless in no time look how beautiful they look and now i'm just going to add some cuticle oil thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video bye guys